Mr. Thomas Downs, you owe me money. Howdy viewers, Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. I did not get Money Lending and Other Sins Part 1 and 2 recorded the last time I played. And I kind of screwed up this time I played because I went after the people in Money Lending Sins Part 1 and... Well, I didn't get that recorded, but I did record part two, which is assigned to Arthur by Hare Stroud after he gets at least one of the people from part one. And this is where Arthur Morgan ends up getting tuberculosis, which is Mr. Dowd. And uh, I did a video about his wife a while back. But I'll get on with part one, at least you'll see the names, and then I'll cut over to part two, where he confronts Mr. Down. So let's get on with money lending and other sins, parts one and two. Herr Morgan! Herr Morgan! Mr. Strauss? You busy, my friend? Why? I'll cut you in. Loan it. Already? You know how it is. People is happy to borrow off someone like me, but more enthusiastic paying back to someone like you. Of course. Who are they? Hmm, let me see. A Chick Matthews works at Guthrie Farm. He's a hand, I believe. Mr. Robel, the small holder at Painted Sky, runs the operations there, badly. Miss Lily Millet is a ranch maid up at Emerald Ranch. And here was me believing Dutch's bluster about us helping folk. It's legal work, Mr. Morgan. Debtors belong in prison. We are doing them a favor. Ah, I'll make sure they see it in them terms. Put the debts in the deed box and try not to kill them. It's very bad for business. I just miss him so much. Without saying. Oh, what am I gonna do? You're gonna suffer. <laughs> you saw and heard the names, and like I said, I forgot to record uh, the first three encounters. When Arthur returns to camp, Mr. Strauss tells him about um, Mr. Downs and Arthur has to go and collect that. And that's part two, which is what I'm going to show you now. Oh, Mr. Downs! You, uh, uh, whatever do you... Mr. Thomas Downs, you owe me money. Uh, oh, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm... Oh, come here, you maggot. Please, sir, I'm, I'll... Really? Threaten me, would you? Uh, please, I have a family, sir, please. I don't care about your family. Why did it have to come to this, huh? Believe me, sir, I didn't want this either. You ain't such a do-gooder, are you? If you're running out on debts, I'm I'm not running anywhere. I'm I'm I'm, do, I'm doing my best for you. You are a slippery little bastard, but I got you now. Please, please show some compassion, please. Strauss told me you needed a beating. You saying he was right? What will that solve? I wouldn't paying up have been a little easier. Pay the money, you'll make this stop. Your dad's caught you, mister. And it ain't letting go. How's that dead looking now? If I'm here, there's a reason I'm here. Pay the money. If you'd been good, this wouldn't be happening. We took your word. Now we'll take your hide. This is 
is not forgiveness of my debt. This is just a stay. Please, please, no. You borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him, you took the money. He wants it back, what's not to understand? <laughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> then sell your wife or your family or something. We ain't your idea of charity. Is that clear? <coughs> Thomas! What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman? My husband isn't well. If we could just have more... Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money. And there you have it. Mr. Downs has infected Arthur with tuberculosis. He just doesn't know it yet. Now, Arthur returns to camp with the news for Mr. Strauss, which I'm going to fast forward to with Mr. Strauss's final conversation. Ah, how did you get on? Not so good. He's almost dead. And they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. Well, people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions. Of course. Mr. Morgan. Yes, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Matthews gave me a message for you. He said when it was convenient to head into Emerald Ranch. He's looking at a few business things there. Okay. Oh, he'll find something, too. He always does. Will you be well now, Mr. Morgan? I'm always well, Miss Grimshaw. I let the last bit play out because Mrs. Grimshaw tells Arthur about Jose, Jose, who has a mission for Arthur, and, well, it involves stealing wagons. And eventually you can make money stealing wagons, and I'll show something about that later on. But I am done with this mission, and if you enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up icon, feel free to leave a comment. If you like this type of video, Hit the subscribe button and bell icon. I post four videos related to video games a week, plus a short on Wednesday and potentially a surprise video during the days I don't post. And you don't want to miss out. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for stopping by.